Hey everybody, my name is Gavin and I love a horror. For a movie that was only supposed to run for three days at the beginning of October, there was very little hope that Terrifier 2 would be anything more than a fun outing for only the most hardcore horror fan. But with some incredible word of mouth and some truly insane viral marketing, Terrifier 2 is on its way to making some pretty big horror history. Let's get into it. As always, would love if you leave a like for this video and subscribe to the channel. My goal is to hit 2,000 subs before the end of the year. It's gonna be tight, but I think we can do it, but I need your help to make that happen. I'll get to the craziest way that Terrifier 2 could make history at the end of this video, but first, let's start with the obvious, the box office. Terrifier 2 was crowdfunded for about $250,000 and has already gone on to gross almost $9 million worldwide. For a movie to be considered profitable, it needs to usually double its budget. This helps recoup the original budget and any marketing and advertising costs that go into promoting the film. Taking that into account, Terrifier 2 has already made 36 times its budget. Oh, and that's not taking into account that there was literally no advertising or marketing for Terrifier 2. The only way to know about about the movie was to see articles on niche horror websites like bloodydisgusting.com that also helped distribute the movie. Now other horror movies have had big returns on investment, but normally there's a huge marketing push to help get them there. Back in 2009, Paranormal Activity would go on to gross $193 million worldwide on a budget of $15,000. But there was a big marketing push to get that movie to that number. I remember back in 2009, you could not go on YouTube without seeing that ad that was like night vision showing people screaming in the theater, passing out and like just, oh my God, this is the scariest movie ever. That ad was everywhere. And while Paranormal Activity was a financial success, it was also a very safe movie to promote. It's a ghost movie, it's got the found footage aspect which makes it unique, but it's a pretty typical jump scare fare that emphasizes what you don't see as opposed to what you do see. This is the complete opposite of what Terrifier 2 does as that movie wants you to see every gory detail of what Art the Clown is doing to his victims. In another history making effort, the word of mouth for this movie and this I dare you to watch this super gory movie aspect is unlike anything I've ever seen in my lifetime. Well, back in the 70s, just merely mentioning The Exorcist would make somebody faint in the theater and probably die. It takes a lot now to get a truly visceral reaction from an audience that is making people call an ambulance for people who are having a bad time watching Terrifier 2. The viral marketing and online response to Terrifier 2 was basically, this is the grossest thing I've ever seen you need to see it, and led to outlets such as USA Today even writing articles like, hey, this movie's making people faint and throw up in the theater. What's up with that? That's another aspect that makes Terrifier 2 and the success it's having truly insane. This movie is so violent. It is so violent. It pulls absolutely no punches whatsoever. Terrifier 2 was released completely unrated and uncut, nothing on the cutting room floor, and this doesn't happen. Theaters do not like releasing uncut movies, so they decided, hey, we'll give Terrifier 2 a fun little three-day run at the beginning of October. We'll give it like one theater, one showing, and it'll go away. I was so shocked when I showed up to my showing at my local AMC, and it was completely sold out and packed. I thought I was going to be in the theater alone with my girlfriend because I thought I was the only one who liked this scary clown movie, but people turned out in droves to see Terrifier 2 uncut, the meanest version of it, just so violent and so gory, and people loved it. And also, when you release a movie unrated and uncut like they did with Terrifier 2, uh, they don't make any money. That is not the case with Terrifier 2 in its first three days of release, just so that limited run, it almost made a million dollars, almost making four times the budget with three days of showings. There's a great article by Variety that kind of highlights just how unprecedented it is for a movie like this to make so much money. In the second weekend of release, granted a weekend it was never supposed to get, the movie made more money in less theaters with less showings. People were tracking down when this movie was showing and then going to check it out because they had heard just how gross and violent and mean the movie was. They had to check it out. Then it expanded to even more theaters in the third weekend and the movie is seeing a 100% 
increase from week to week, which you don't see, like even movies like Top Gun Maverick and these huge blockbusters see a drop off. Terrifier 2 is doing the opposite and making more money in proceeding weekends than it did in its original weekend. From all the research I have done, and honestly, my research consists mostly of Googling and checking Wikipedia, Terrifier 2 seems to be the most profitable, unrated theatrical release of all time. That's how rare this actually happens. People don't do it, and when they do, like I said, it doesn't make money. So Terrifier 2 seems to have made history by being the most profitable in the unrated theatrical regard. And if I'm wrong, I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments like you always do. Please be nice. It's truly crazy that in a year when a conclusion to the Michael Myers and Laurie Strode saga came to a close after 40 years, horror icons, writers, and directors would rather talk about this weird little violent clown movie. I mean, Stephen King went out of his way to watch Terrifier 2 and praise it on Twitter. And Mike Flanagan of Haunting of Hill House and Midnight Mass fame went on to praise the movie as well and dubbed the genre it created the Mega Slasher which I'm on board. Give me more mega slashers. With that said, I do fully expect studios to try to replicate the success of Terrifier 2 by greenlighting nothing but super violent and mean clown horror movie with boobs for the next five years. And they'll miss the mark because even though it's low budget, mean and violent, Terrifier 2 does have a heart. That heart is ripped beating from your chest, but the heart is there. And finally, the craziest way that Terrifier 2 could make history is by winning an Oscar. Bloody Disgusting, one of the distributors of the film and a website I've been going to since I was a teenager, have officially submitted Terrifier 2 to the Academy for Oscar consideration. Do I expect Terrifier 2 to be nominated and win an Oscar? Absolutely not. But this movie was never supposed to get a second weekend in theater, so at this point, anything can happen. And while I don't think any of the actors in Terrifier 2 are going to be going up against Meryl Streep in an acting category, and that's mostly because of the Academy's bias against horror movies, it's the same reason Tony Collette did not get nominated for Hereditary, and the reason that Mia Goth will be snubbed for her amazing performance in Pearl. But I could see Terrifier 2 getting a Best Makeup nomination, because the makeup and gore effects in this movie are top notch. Damien Leone did an amazing job with the effects, and they are definitely Oscar worthy. And honestly, in a world where 3 6 Mafia can win an Oscar, why can't Damien Leone get a Best Makeup Effects Oscar for the bedroom scene alone? Jesus, give the man an Oscar for just how traumatized I am. Overall, Terrifier 2 has become a huge success and defied all the odds, despite everything working against it. At this point, it's pretty much a seeing how far can they take this success. And that success could end with an Oscar? But what do you think? Are you enjoying seeing the crazy saga of Terrifier 2 take over the world and the horror community? Or are you still on the fence and just maybe you don't get the appeal of this super violent clown movie? I understand that. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And also, if you have seen it, did it make you sick? No judgment if it did. I wanna know if you had that visceral, pukey, vomit, passing out reaction that everybody's talking about. Let me know in the comments below. And as always, be sure to leave a like for this video and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, stay weird.